Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gürbüz. Welcome to my video in conducting ANOVA or analysis of variants using SPSS. So let's go ahead. We use one way ANOVA in order to test there is a significant difference between the more than two groups. More than two groups. So in ANOVA, actually we have a category variable, a categorical variable with more than two groups or two categories, which refers independent variable. Also in ANOVA, we have a dependent variable, which is a kind of quantitative variable. Okay, so for the ANOVA, a typical hypothesis should be like that. Young citizens' perception differs based on their educational level. As you see, I have more than two groups in terms of educational level. I have high school, bachelor, master, and PhD. So, since I have more than two groups, I should use one-way ANOVA. Remember that from the previous class, if we have only two groups for the categorical variable, like a female and male, I was using independent sample t test. But in this case, I have more than two groups for my categorical variable or my independent variable. For that reason, I should proceed with the one way ANOVA. Okay. So let's say this is my alternative hypothesis. Okay, so there is a significant difference regarding the perception towards sustainable energy among groups with different education backgrounds. So let me visualize it for you. Okay, I have a education. Okay, so the education okay consists of sub categories. I have high school and below bachelor degree, master degree, and PhD degree. So, this variable actually is my a categorical variable with more than two categories, okay? It refers independent variable, okay? And my second variable is here, should be perception towards sustainable energy, which is my dependent variable or my quantitative variable for this hypothesis. Okay, what I'm gonna do, guys, okay, I'm gonna test whether there is a significant differences regarding the perception towards sustainable energy among the groups with different educational background. Okay, so to do that, let's go to do SPSS and see how can we proceed. Okay, so let's go to do my data okay this is my species data for this analysis so as you see i have an independent variable which is education background and it is coded like that so high school and below bachelor degree master degree and phd degree and also this is my sustainable energy perception which is my dependent variable okay which is a composite variable so no problem. Okay, so then uh, I can start my analysis steps. Okay, in order to do one way ANOVA, guys, I shall first go to the analyze menu. So analyze, then compare means, then I shall find the one way ANOVA. By the way, why we call it one way ANOVA? Because we have only one categorical variable so one way concept actually comes from here okay then click one way ANOVA okay okay let me reset my window okay so all of my variables should be left hand then first of all I should put my dependent variable to the dependent list okay here so just move here and also, I shall put my 
you know, factor variable or grouping variable or independent variable to do factor box here. Okay, then move it here. Okay, then I shall go to you know options menu, click options. Okay, so first of all, I will need descriptive statistic. Just click descriptive statistic. Then I shall check, okay, the most important assumption of one way unknown, which is whether I have a equal variance or homogeneity of variance among the groups or not. Okay, in order to test this assumption, I will need homogeneity of variance test, which is 11 test. For that reason, I should click also this one. Okay, then I should also choose Welch test just in case of I don't have you know equal variances among the groups. Okay, just in case, let's also select Welch test. I will explain the details later on about this. Okay, just select Welch test. Then hit the continue. Okay. After that, I shall go to the post hoc test. Okay because I will need some comparison among the groups. Okay. For that reason, click the postdoc test. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. When you click the postdoc test, a window just like that pops up. Okay. So in this actual menu, you will see some postdoc multiple comparison test. Okay. So this menu consists of two groups of tests. At the upper side, you will see the some group of tests. Okay, so those group of tests actually are used when you have equal variance. Okay, when your 11 test that we're gonna conduct later on is non significant. Okay, it is not significant, which refers you have a equal variance which is good for the ANOVA okay so you need to use one of these tests okay so among them the most popular one 2k test okay so let's proceed with the 2k test so I will click the 2k test also just look at the below groups of analysis or test you will see that it says equal variance not assume it means that if our assumption regarding the homogeneity of variance is violated, okay, then we should use one of them. Among them, the most popular one is James Howell test. Okay, so I will just click James Howell test. Okay, just click it. Then I am ready to go. Click the continue and then hit the OK and you will get the results from the SPSS. So I have the descriptive statistic table. I have the test of homogeneity variance table, which is 11 test, okay? And I have a NOVA table, F table, okay? And also I have a Welch test, and also I have post hoc test, multiple comparison results, and the other one is not important. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I will copy all these results to the PowerPoint. Then we will talk about it on PowerPoint. Okay, let's click the PowerPoint and five. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so my first table was descriptive statistics. So as usual, you will see some descriptive statistic information regarding your variable actually your independent variable so at the left hand column you can see your groups high school and below bachelor master and phd and sample size mean okay standard deviation and standard error of mean also you will see some other information but not very important okay so this is the what our first descriptive statistic provides us okay let's go ahead and my second table which is about the test of homogeneity of variances which is very important because guys this table 
this analysis, which is 11 statistical, 11 tests, actually test our most important uh, assumption. Okay, so 11 tests confirm that four educational groups, okay, have equal amount of variance, okay, which is a requirement for ANOVA. So, if you see non-significant 11 test results, just like here, okay, it means that the variances are equal among the groups. In other words, okay, the groups, my education groups, are homogeneous, okay, which is good for the ANOVA, which is the most important assumption of ANOVA. And now it is good for me because I have a non-significant eleven test result. Okay, so let's say let's say I have a significant eleven test results, or I have a significant of uh, test of homogeneity variance, which means that my you know variances are not equal among the groups. So homogeneity of variance exception was violated. In this case, if you have a significant 11 test value, SIG value, so just pay attention here, report watch test ANOVA if 11 test is significant, okay? Because the assumption of equality of variance is violated, that I already mentioned about, it, okay? For such a case, use GIMS how test, post hoc test, okay. So, but in this case, our 11 test is non significant, so it means that I can proceed with the ANOVA, which is one of the most important assumptions. Let's go ahead. So, this is my ANOVA table. In this table, I should look at the F value and also SIG or P value. As you see, my SIG value or P value is clearly lower than my you know alpha level which is 0 0.05 for that reason i can say that there is a significant difference regarding the perception towards sustainable energy among the groups with different education background for that reason i can say that my alternative hypothesis is supported because my sag value p value is lower than my confidence level which is 0 0.05 okay let's go ahead then we have the welch test okay welch test remember that when we should use this test okay if the 11 test is significant so what was 11 test just remember so those were the 11 tests right so if i have the significant 11 test equal I should report this Welch test instead of ANOVA test. Okay, but in this case, I have a non, you know, significant level test. It means that I can ignore Welch test. Okay, don't pay attention to this one because my level test is non-significant. Okay, so let's go ahead. Then you will see the, you know, postdoc test, 2K test, and also you will see the here, you know, games of test. So the post hoc test actually try to do some multiple comparison among the groups. Okay. So before going, you know, forward, let me explain again. Okay. If we have a, you know, significant level test okay we should report the games whole postdoc test here okay but remember that our level test was non-significant for that reason instead of games hovel test guys we should report 2k test here okay so we're gonna look at only upper portion of postdoc results here okay okay first of all we should look at the first row here so at the first row 
you can see okay okay the comparison between the high school and bachelor degree is significant because as you can see the mean difference between these two groups is significant when you look at the sig value sorry here the sig value or p value is clearly lower than our 0 0.05 or alpha level okay so we can say that there is a significant difference between the high school and bachelor degree okay so just go ahead for the comparison let's look at the between high school okay and master degree as you see the difference between these two group does not you know significant because my srg value is uh, higher than my alpha level which is 0 0.05 same for the between <coughs> high school and phd degree when you look at the mean difference okay between these two group as you can see SIG value that is not significant. Okay, let's go at the second row, which is bachelor degree. So first of all, we should compare the bachelor degree with the high school degree, just like above. Okay, so we should get significant results. Okay, that that is plausible actually. So as you see, we have the significant SIG value between this group. Okay, between these two groups. Uh, just look at the bachelor degree and master degree, compare these two groups. Okay, as you see, non significant p value, SIG value. Same for the between the PhD degree and bachelor degree, no significant difference. Look at the master degree, as you see, we don't have any significant p value. Okay, also, as you can understand, the SPSS automatically put you know stars when they when it actually determine difference between two groups okay so we can say that based on these results there is only significant difference between the high school and bachelor degree citizens okay so uh, we can say that postdoc analysis with the 2 KLCD shows that significant difference exists only between citizen with bachelor and high school degree so this is our interpretation based on our 2k test okay so let's go ahead so how can we report all this kind of information based on apa style okay so actually guys you can use this kind of text for your own research okay uh, yeah as you see uh, I just write a very short interpretation about the, my results, a one-way ANOVA, okay, uh, results show that there was a significant difference regarding the perception towards sustainable energy among the groups with different education background, then I should provide some statistical, you know, values here, you can see where these values come from, okay, and postdoc comparison using the 2K HSD test indicated that the mean score for the bachelor degree, okay, was significantly higher than the high school degree. However, the mean score for the other groups did not significantly differ, okay, significantly differ. Okay, so this is the interpretation that I can write for my own report, okay. So also, if you want to add a table in your report, you can... <coughs> You can use this example for your own study. Okay, so for the table visualization, as you said, as you can see, you can just put your education groups here and sample size, mean, standard deviation, and also you should get the F value. Okay, uh, from here table, of course. When you're writing the F value just in the parentheses, you should write your degrees of freedom, okay, from the table. And also just uh, beside the, your F value, you should put two stars that represent your SRG value or P value. Okay, guys. So those how can we actually conduct one way ANOVA using SPSS and how can we actually report it based on APA style. Thank you for your attention. See you on the next video.